Hi, my name is Johnny Lee, and a few days ago I posted a video about building a low-cost uh, prototype ventilator. Uh, and I appreciate everyone's feedback uh, that I've been able to talk to who helped me learn a lot more about uh, what's involved in mechanical ventilation. And I've updated the GitHub link with a lot of those learnings. While the efforts to make that project better continue, I wanted to share a different application of pretty much the exact same parts uh, that could be useful right away, uh, less risky, and potentially much, much more valuable than a mediocre ventilator. And that's to build what's called a powered air purifying respirator, or PAPR. PAPRs are actually advanced pieces of personal protective equipment, or PPEs, that's designed to be worn by healthy individuals such as yourself or a caregiver. PAPRs are actually preventative uh, pieces of equipment rather than reactive ones, so we actually reduce the spread of the disease up front. Protective equipment like this is already in short supply. We don't have to wait until hospitals are overrun with people needing ventilators. The CDC's website on crisis and alternate strategies uh, for what to do when things like N95 masks run out uh, references a study that talks about the effectiveness of materials like towels, t-shirts, and scarves on how well they act as a respirator. Ultimately, if you're able to help a caregiver heal 10 people that they otherwise couldn't treat, you'd have a much higher level of impact over people's lives than building a mediocre ventilator for just one person. These are the components I'm using for the DIY pepper. Uh, this is a blower from the ventilator project. This is an air filter, a battery for the blower, uh, a full face uh, mask from a CPAP with its breathing tube, a pair of swimming goggles for eye protection, uh, a face shield, and a backpack to carry everything so I can have my hands free. The blower, as I mentioned in the previous video, is just from inside an old CPAP that I had. And CPAPs are pretty common devices used by people to treat sleep apnea. And it turns out the blowers are simply just brushless DC motors that can be easily driven by an Arduino Mini and an electronic speed controller commonly used in quad rotors and RC cars. Uh, this white part is a 3D printed air filter adapter. Uh, and the way I attach this adapter to the blower and motor and wrapped up all the electronics is actually just used a whole bunch of electrical tape. In one continuous strip, I wrapped it kind of like a ball of twine. And that's to try to make an airtight seal so there's no external air that gets into the blower that doesn't come through the air filter. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's actually a pretty good airtight seal um, and seems pretty functional. This particular filter is what's called a CBRN rated air filter. And CBRN stands for Chemical, Biological, Radioactive, and Nuclear uh, Particle Filtration. I'm really happy we don't have to use the chemical, radioactive, and nuclear uh, capabilities of this um, filter, uh, but the biological rating does help with airborne virus filtration. I also have this adapter, which is just for a standard 3M uh, N95 or P100 face mask filter cartridge. Uh, and this can also be attached to the blower. I have a lot more detail on the GitHub uh, link in the description on how this motor was put together, uh, as well as the 3D models for both of these filter adapters. To put it together, I just screw in the air filter, plug in the breathing hose, plug in the battery, turn it on. Uh, just as before, it goes through a basic boot up sequence and uh, begin pumping at a constant pressure. I can use this uh, toggle switch to uh, increase the pressure or increase the flow uh, to whatever comfort level is good for breathing. The filter is going to drag on the actual flow, so you may have to run it at a higher rate than just the lowest setting. Once this is all in a good state, you can just put it into a backpack for easy carrying. First I put on the CPAP mask, which covers my mouth and nose. Then I put on a pair of prescription strength uh, swimming goggles so I can see without my glasses. And then finally a face shield to protect uh, from liquids that might be splashing up. If you don't happen to have a face shield, there's 3D printable models online that you can download. There's a small community of people that are starting to print these out in case they're needed in an emergency. Once you put it all together with the backpack and the face protection, you have a fully functional powered air purifying respirator. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a much simpler and much less risky project than trying to build a ventilator, uh, which is a complicated project. Uh, and it's useful today. Um, you can use it to protect yourself from getting sick and uh, potentially even uh, help a caregiver in case they run out of proper materials. 
All the information you need on how to put this together is in the GitHub link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay healthy and safe. Thanks. Bye.